Students, now let us look at the detail of public warehouses. Public warehouses ko zara uh, dig in kar lein. So what kind of functions public warehouses would be providing? Public warehouses will provide normally the break bulk scenario. Break bulk kya hai? The shipments are broken down and items are combined into specific customer order. Ek, uh, ek manufacturer ki taraf se you would have like uh, different items received. Bohut saare items honge. Or unki koi specification regarding their size and color would not be there. So what public warehouses can do? They perform the function of like breaking the bulk. Wo bulk breaking aap ke liye kar sakte. That is to break the bulk of different manufacturers and then sort it out according to your requirement. Us retailer ki requirement ke mutabik usse sort out karenge. Yani customer order a complete karenge. Uh, then the repackaging. Of, obviously, jab aapne break bulk ki hai to, aur ek customer order ko complete kiya. So you need to repackage it. So packaging a logistical activity to have a marketing activity be because it has an effect on the customer purchase behavior. Uski jo purchasing intention hai, us pe bhi bada effect karti hai. The packing of the thing or uh, how have, how actually you have handled that item, wo us pe bada zada effect karti hai. So it is an important activity and a value added activity. Then assembly. Assembly means uh, labels can be attached into it uh, to some limited, up to some limited extent. So, kuch light assembly functions can be performed. Uh, that would be rather ke shipments hai, identification label lagana hai, ke of course, uh, ye this country, it is going to this region or this country and it is going to this region and this country. So, that can be done there. But that, be, keep it in mind, it would be a limited assembly work, not at a big level. Jaysay, uh, aapke paas jo contract warehouses hain, ya private warehouses hain, wahan par uh, postpoon bhi kiya ja sakta hai, is cheez ko, aap wahan par rok bhi sakte hain, uh, assembly ke liye, wahan par jo label attachment hai, aur is tarah ke kaam, even some semi-finished items can be actually uh, going through some assembly work, uh, but that would not be performed in the public warehouses. Incoming and outgoing quality inspections. Quality inspections would be there, quality ko control wahan par rakha ja sakta hai, uh assure kiya ja sakta hai jab wo incoming item hai then you can control it aur jab wo aapke warehouse se ja raha hai to kya wo properly stored tha properly handle kiya gaya is cheez ko bhi aap uh, assure kar sakte hain then material handling equipment maintenance and documentation services usko handle kar rahe hain uski uh, documentation complete us product aur us sku se related aur customer order se related it would be done Short and long term storage. Kuch thodi der ke liye bhi ho sakti hai. Long term storage can also be done. What are the pros of public warehousing? Provide flexibility and investment cost savings. Cheaper, relatively cheaper, much cheaper. And also provide flexibility. You can have like different items be stored in different public warehouses. Cons, lack of control. Cannot control it. Control kis sense mein hai? ho sakta hai utni utne specialized functions perform nahi karta where uh, public warehouses jo aapki requirement hai to there is no control over it aap apni marzi se uh, specialized functions perform nahi karwa sakte thank you